Hello everyone, my name is Milovan and I make videos about DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. If you're into that, you should definitely subscribe down below. Today we are going to learn how to do this match cut effect inside DaVinci Resolve. I know, I know, it looks cool, it's super easy and it's super effective just because it looks cool. <laughs> okay, so we are going to need two things. One is this sound effect and this screenshot. Of course, you can have any screenshot you want. This is just an example for me. We want to drag this to the timeline. To copy this file, you need to hold down the Alt key, click and drag and drop it to the right. We need to repeat that process a couple of times. With every single sound effect, we want to decrease the space between them. Once you're done, you should have something like this. Okay, that sounds great. Now let's add this screenshot. Drag it onto our timeline. Before we continue, we need to zoom in a little bit and we can do that by going to the inspector tab and changing this value. Then we need to click here so we can move our file around like this. Next, we need to go up to the View tab, from the drop-down menu we choose Safe Area, and then click On. Now you can see these rectangles, and you can see this cross in the middle. Ok, now we need to drag this file around and find our keyword. Mine is Match Cut, obviously. We need to use this cross in the middle and be very precise because we are going to do this multiple times. For example, in the match cut sentence, I'm going to place my cross in the middle of a C letter. Ok, once we are satisfied with that, we can grab the blade tool and cut this screenshot just before the next sound begins. Ok, now we grab our playhead and place it after the cut. Ok, now we need to grab this screenshot again and move it around just so we can find the same word but in the different place. Once again, make sure it is centered right. Then again, grab the blade tool, cut the footage and repeat that process over and over again. Once we are done, we should have something like this. There you go, that's your match cut. But of course, we'll make it to look better we need to add a few effects. Go to your effects page, search for solid color, drag and drop it onto our timeline. Cut it down with our blade tool. Disable the safe area, disable transform, and choose a color you like. For example, I will go with green. Then, in the inspector tab, go to the settings, Scroll down and in the composite mode change it to multiply. Then scroll up just a little bit and here we can crop this image. After cropping we'll have something like this. Of course you can make adjustments later on. Yeah, that looks good. Great, now we can add an adjustment clip. We can drag it onto our timeline. Again, chop it down. Right click on adjustment clip and open infusion page. I know, I know, fusion can be a little bit scary, but don't worry, this won't be complicated, we only need a few nodes. Click on Media In 1 and click on the Blur node. Then we go to the Inspector tab and we increase the blur size. And as you see, our footage is a bit blurry now. But we want to add an ellipse mask onto this blur. So, click on the ellipse mask, click on invert and adjust this ellipse so it matches our word. Ok, 
and of course you can increase this soft edge a little bit just to make it smoother and would you look at that that's our match cut done but we can do one more little thing go online and find these paper textures add it on top of our clips zoom in a little bit and again composite mode set to multiply and with that final effect our match cut is finally done it looks much better now with effects than without it and that's how you do match cut inside davinci resolve if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and of course leave a comment in the comment section down below my name is milovan and thanks for watching